Am I the John the Beloved that Edgar Casey and Paul Solomon spoke of? Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Coffee Time with John. Mm. God, that coffee glows in the sunlight. Mmm, sexy. <laughs> Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the John of News Studios. Really excited to talk to you today. Had a comment come in yesterday on the channel that basically said something like, um, I think John is well-intentioned, uh, but he is not a psychic like Edgar Casey." And basically he came on just to knock me down because he, his belief, you know, I didn't fit his belief that he had chosen. And I respect his belief. But I won't allow people to knock me down on my channel. So, hey, I removed the comment. and um, But I'm here talking about it because I think it does bring, bring up a... Um, it does bring up a, a topic which is asked of me often. You know, Edgar Casey and another, another uh, psychic named Paul Solomon both predicted that John the Beloved would again be named John. Uh, both of them mentioned the name Peniel, which I find really interesting because when I came out 20 years ago, I used to call myself John of Peniel because the name Peniel means image of God, and I believe that we're all in the image of God, so we are all of Peniel. So I called myself John of Peniel back in the day just because of the meaning of the word, Peniel, not because I was trying to set myself apart. Um, but I spoke in Virginia Beach at the ARE, and I had a, a, a person who was a bigwig at the ARE ask me this question when I was there. So do you believe you're the John that, that Casey spoke of? I said to him, and I quote, you quote myself now. I don't claim that. I don't. I have no idea who Casey was talking about. I have no idea who Paul Sodom was talking about. I don't really care who they're talking about, honestly. The reality of it is, is that both Casey and Solomon were coming through their own filters and seeing their own things the way they see them. You know, Casey was very much an, an old school uh, Christian, and a lot of his messages and a lot of his 14,000 readings come from a very old school Christian perspective. You hear, uh, even in, in some of the way he said things, using the archaic speech of the Bible. Paul Solomon was very different. He, he, was, he was more New Age. And he had some things that come through that, that were very interesting. And because of the Paul Solomon uh, readings, I was taken to Egypt by a group of people, and I had a huge experience on the Giza Plateau. Um, but when you look at, when you look at the, the, the question, am I who they predicted, there's no way I could possibly know that. There's no way you could possibly know that. There's no way anybody in the world could possibly know that, except for Paul Solomon and Edgar Casey, who are now no longer with us. So, it would be complete vanity of me to claim that I know who they were talking about. It would also be complete vanity of me to believe that it was me. Um, as I've said in many, many videos, it does not matter who you were, it only matters who you are. What are you doing in the here and now? I don't dive into prophetics and prophecy, and I don't dive into um, what most people would consider psychic, right? And the reason I don't dive into them is not because I don't, don't respect them. I believe that we all have a personal journey. Um, but the reason I don't do it is because I believe that we're all coming from our own filters. Every psychic you'll ever meet is filtering through their own belief system. And so it's much more important for you to come to grips with who you are and what you're doing. Now, one of the comments, one of the things that this man made in the comment is I'm not a psychic like Edgar Casey. You're absolutely right, I'm not. I have never once said I was a psychic. I had people on this channel actually say, why are you so afraid of admitting you're a psychic? I'm not afraid of admitting I'm a psychic. I don't consider myself a psychic. Do I get information when I channel those when I channel those writings that I do before private sessions? Absolutely. But the information I'm getting, I don't consider it psychic. I consider it uh, tapping into the oneness or the Akashic records, which is what Edgar Casey said to do have done. 
But I don't consider it a psychic ability. I think it's an ability we all have. And I, I, think, it's, I think it's kind of wrong to think that there are people who are set aside to be psychics and some who are set aside not to be because they believe we all have the ability. It's just our own doubts, fears, and anxieties that hold us from having those experiences. So when I look at the, the question, am I the John that Edgar Casey and Paul Solomon spoke of, you know, number one, I don't know. Number two, I don't claim it. Number three, I think it would be ridiculous or, or vain of me to say it was because I don't know what they were thinking. Um, I, I will say that there are many people in the world who've taken Edgar Casey and Paul Solomon and made them their religion. This is 100% infallible. You know, what he said is absolutely true and so on and so forth. And I think that it's just as bad as, as the old religions. It's just another dogma. You know, there is more in this world, and God is too big to be encompassed by one school of thought, be it new age or old. God is, is everything and everywhere. And some people, like Edgar Casey, who I think is amazing, I, I, I read his stuff all the time. Um, John the Beloved will again be named John. Amazing. And the other line that Edgar Casey said was, there the oneness of God is known. I didn't remember reading that back in the day, but I read it now and I completely understand <laughs> what that line is, but I don't think it's about me. I just think that everyone's, com everyone's coming to the oneness of God. So it's a matter of, of um, new age dogma, and a matter of vanity to actually think that I would be that person that Edgar Casey or Paul Solomon spoke of. You know, am I? I don't know. Am I not? I don't know. Do I care? No. Because if I was so focused on what they were saying and what they were thinking and what they were doing, I'm not living in the present. And living in the present is the key to, to this world, is... is you only live in one present moment. The past is a collection of present moment memories, and the future is just a place where we set goals for our next present moment. But if you're not living in the present moment and, and coming to know your source, God consciousness, in the present moment, you're not doing anything. You're not actually getting anything done because it's the only moment you have, thought, word, and deed. It's the only moment where you can actually do anything is in the present moment. So I don't focus on what Edgar Cayce said or what Paul Solomon said about the past or the future. In the past, about the future. I don't, I don't put my focus there because it's not, it's, it's irrelevant to me. I'm going to be who I am. You know, in Star Trek, there was this, there's many episodes where they go through, sl slip in time a little bit. And they're like, well, if I do something different now, it'll change my future, so on and so forth. And they're like, and it always comes down to uh, Jean-Luc Picard saying, if we're going to be damned, let's be damned for who we are. And that's, that's exactly it. I, it if you go through life as who you are, be authentic in who you are, and if someone is trying to wrap a story around you or somebody's story could be wrapped around you, it's not your story, it's theirs. So it's a matter of you stepping into the, into the space of saying, I am me. I, I am that I am. I am not what you're saying that I am. I am what I am. And if my story matches your story, great. And if it doesn't, great. It doesn't matter to me. So I just wanted to hop on and, and, and say this because uh, when someone gets upset and starts to have to come onto a website and start to knock somebody down because of their own beliefs, I wanted to clarify my stake on that um, on that position because I, I don't think that we're diametrically opposed. I just think he has he he has this uh, belief that Edgar Casey's infallible, and I have a belief that it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's, that's 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 my take on the whole thing. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.